What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for pulling back up, tuning back in as we dive into this new TV series that we're checking out yes. uh, called The Sopranos. The Sopranos. We're about to be checking out episode five and six. Mm -hmm. and, and so far, like I said, we're learning all the characters. We're kind of learning the ins and outs. We're kind of understanding that they all kind of into construction and waste management. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they kind of and, and they breaking it down in great fashion too. So they say, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, you know y'all. We just still we still warming up, but yeah, it's, it's it's actually getting really good. I like when he when they show the part to him going to go talk to his therapist. I feel like I was about starting, to just say that too. I feel like he's starting to get a little thing for her though, like low key. You, you, you think he's how, you think he's you think you think he got a thing for, her, or you just trying, or you think that he's just getting a little paranoid because no. he's telling her, saying a little bit too much to her. Mm -mm, no, know? the way he was looking at her. Like, Okay, I just know. I did catch him okay. looking at her legs a I, couple I of times. I did too. That's what I'm like. For some reason, I feel like he's starting to get a little thing for her. Like the way you know, I he hadn't shown it physically, <laughs> but but in terms of like yeah. what I see that he looking at, yeah, I feel like he got a little thing for her. Because okay? I mean, because obviously with what he does, he's a great talker. You know, he got the gift of gab too as well. Oh, yeah, so absolutely, absolutely. You know. Yeah, he know the right thing to say yeah, yeah. at the right time. Okay, so y'all, we're about to jump into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. You can tap into the Patreon. You can see all of our unedited videos, our behind-the-scenes footage, uh, Patreon polls, and yep. our TV series as well. That includes this one, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Band of Brothers, y'all. We just, we just, we just. We, are, we out here. Okay. We outside, y'all. Yeah, that yeah. part. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into this, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Admitted. How'd it go? 48 to 52 male-female ratio. Strong liberal arts program. Usual programs abroad are China, India. You're just applying here. Already you're leaving? It's an option, Dad. What are you studying in India? How not to get diarrhea? <laughs> they don't require SAT scores, so mine will help because they're high. Two to go. Call me up. Dad, how come you didn't finish college? I got into a little trouble when I was a kid. Oh, Lord. You did. Wow, well, how did that not surprise me? Serving the precious Maine lobster. You want like a big trouble guy, maybe? No. A wonderful Great time for Are a talk. Are you in the mafia? That's total crap. Oh. I'm in a waste management business. Everybody immediately assumes you're mobbed up. It's a stereotype. And it's offensive. Wow. And you're the last person I would want to perpetuate it. Wow. Fine. That's all I can say, too. There is no mafia. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's the Illuminati. <laughs> you ain't helping either. All right, look. Some of my money comes from illegal gambling and, and, and whatnot. At least you don't keep denying it like mom. Kids in school think it's actually kind of neat. It's in the Godfather, right? Not really. Casino we like. I'm not asking about those bums. I'm asking about you. Sometimes I wish you were like other dads. Ugh, so many dads are full of shit. And I'm not. <laughs> Finally told the truth about this. She like, I already know what's up. You can tell me whatever you want. How's my sweetie doing? I'm so pissed. How you feeling? Uh, better actually. Fever just broke. Big How's the interviews going? going? Good. Real good. Oh yeah, did she like Bates? Is it anything to get her off of this Berkeley kick? What the fuck? Tony. Look, I'll call you back for the motel. What did she? Did she get in that car? Mm -mm. That's his car. Come on, get in. Okay, okay, what's the rush? I didn't catch that. I didn't catch what happened. Jesus, Dad. Did he see something? He did. He saw that guy with the navigator. I don't... What's going on? I think I saw an old friend, that's all. You know that guy at the gas station? Maybe not. Hello, our motel's right there. Bada bing. Take this number down and call me back. Now it's pouring down here. I'm not sure, but I think I just saw Fabian Petrullio. Made guy. He flipped about 10 years ago and he got busted for peddling H. Ooh. That fuck took out a lot of people. Up in Maine? What the fuck? He went into the witness protection program. Anyway, run these plates for me. Hey. What's wrong with the phone in your room? Nothing. Oh, so that's who that was. 
Who is it? Father Phil. It's all right. Rat. Yeah, With protection. protection. Gotcha. Yeah, and you know Maine, them little small towns, they can put you up there somewhere. I hope I'm not barging in. Oh, no, I was uh, watching TV. I, I have a Jones for your baked ziti. Oh, <laughs> sure, anytime. Uh, some wine, if it's open. Mm hmm How's Men Tony's trip going? Oh, I should know. I don't like how he's just looking around the house and stuff. You see him? Trying to make sure the coast is clear. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Ted, you're definitely up to something. Oh, how'd you get so cynical? That stuff we talked about before. How's that sitting with you? Not like I wasn't 90% sure already. Dad, I have something to tell you. Yeah? Uh-oh. You're not. Uh-oh. No, Jesus. <laughs> not, not that. A couple of weeks ago, me and some friends, we were doing speed. You what? It was just between homework and SATs. I'd have slapped the shit out of you. Where did you get it? If I thought oh. this was going to be a lecture, I never would have told you. Take a reality check. Where did you get it? Oh. No way I'm telling you, especially after this reaction. Well, why did you tell me? You were honest with me today. Oh, I'm glad you told me. Oh. I'm glad I did, too. I think she just had to get that off her chest. But she... I thought... I, I was just like, please don't say it was in there for you. Tony hates building fires. You know, we have this beautiful fireplace, and those same three logs have been in there since Lincoln split them. Well, this Chianti, though, is beyond reproach. <laughs> this is Carrie, Lucinda. They go to Colby. Yeah? Why don't you hang out with them? What, what better way to learn about the college? No, that'd be cool. <laughs> be good. The car is registered to Frederick Peters, 38 Washington Street, Waterville, Maine. Fuck, I gotta do my homework and positively ID this guy. Sit tight. My neighborhood in Yonkers was mixed Jewish and Italian, you know? Why is it so damn in there? <clears throat> Romantic guy. Hello? Hello, I'm calling for Tony Soprano. Who can I say is calling? This is Dr. Melfi. Is this Mrs. Soprano? That's right, and you are again? Jennifer Melfi, Dr. Melfi. Jennifer. Lovely name. Does he have your number, Jennifer? Let me give it to you just in case. I lost my pencil. Up his ass. I'll tell him you called. Dang. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. She's not believing that. She don't think that's Why does he have enough. to lie? Why couldn't he tell me his therapist is a woman? What is he hiding? He ain't either. And I right thought he was changing. The wrong time. I thought therapy was going to help clear up the fucking freak show in his head. You talk to him. You help him. But, well, there you go. I mean, w will he listen? I just, I just I just don't like that the lights are kind of dim. It's just a, it's just it's just, it's just it's storm storm my mood off. It's a little bit too dark for your life here. Yeah, it's a, it's a little too romantic. <laughs> and they got wine and everything. Good as Willem Dafoe was, I cannot picture that Jesus looked like him. Could you pass the cheese? They shouldn't be both just sitting on the floor. Not either. that he didn't do a good job. Right when he gets the down place. off the cross. <laughs> oh man, I better get going. Where are you going? You just got here. Oh, I'm, it's getting late. Well, it's pouring rain out. I just got remains of the day. Mm. See? Do I know you? Anything with Emma Thompson. Father Phil, I didn't know you looked. <laughs> what? And to take in through the eyes a beautiful woman? Is that so different than a sunset? A Douglas fir? Or any of God's handiwork? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Hey, can we wait until the time? No, no, no. At nighttime, it's always better. When you're going to do your snooping around, it's always better at nighttime. I promise. I'm trying to see if he can confirm that that's really him. Might just need to give the window just a little crack. Hello, rat. Thing, what you think? We talking about we talking about Tony Soprano. <laughs> and we know when he got his eyes fixed they, on something. Yeah. He's going to go after it. He's a great waste management manager. Yeah, he is. Oh no. Oh no. 
What is it? Your father, I'm a terrible person. No. You're a wonderful woman. I want to... Carmela, if I can help, please. How? What, what you got? How can you, how can you help me? Hold on, babe. How long has it been since you last confessed? Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. It has been four weeks since my last confession. What am I talking about? I haven't truly confessed in 20 years. I have forsaken what is right for what is easy. Allowing what I know is evil in my house. What is because I wanted things for them. I wanted a better life, good schools. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. What's you gonna confess to? I don't know, I don't know. My husband. I think he has committed horrible acts. Okay. Oh, he getting out the car too. He said he bowed it, bowed it. Uh, <clears throat> oh, the kilo bread. Sorry, Dad. Your she was drinking, but he got he got more important things to worry about. God, everything is spinning. You're not mad, are you, Daddy? A little bit. I gave them to you. It's supposed to be. Wow. Oh, he's just like him. Repent. He had them lined up. Genuinely and honestly. They are one and the same. And in the future, you must renounce all these actions. I don't know, Father. I'll try. But I still love him. I think you should take communion. Man, this is too close for comfort. He had him lined up. Right there with his daughter. If those people were next to them, trying to go into their... This is the body of Christ that was broken for you. Well, why they gotta show that? <laughs> why they have to do that, though? They wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this... The seat on a Boston flight tomorrow, four o'clock. Don't come. I'll make sure you and Meadow have cleared the state before anything happens. We don't ever meet face to face. This is my thing. He might have recognized me at the gas station. He could lamb any time. You stay put. I don't like the way this is feeling. Why are you using the payphone again? I didn't want to wake you up. Dad, please don't lie to me. Get in, get in. I think down made me throw up. I hope that's Tony. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, hi, honey. You want to sleep over there? Oh, now the kid ain't coming home either? Mm -mm. This is the perfect okay. storm. A friend's house. Uh. Oh. 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 All right. What? Oh. Uh oh. Are oh, you all right? Drunk too much? <laughs> Father Phil? <laughs> Bless you. Oh, gosh. Hey. That just sounds really bad. Saved by the vomit. Okay, I don't want to kiss you now. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm about to say. They, they Man, not... they was just moving in close. I was just trying to make my move. I know, but they can't do that right after communion now. <laughs> Please let him get to the car. No. When I say he got eyes on him, yeah. but he got a good ah. look. He know he, is, he he know who he is, and what'll happen if he gets seen? Well, now now he's leaving, so maybe he's feeling a little bit more relieved. Like, they got the suitcases and stuff, so that you know that's the indicator. They All right, I'll pick you up in a little while. Are you coming in? No, I left my watch at the motel. I'll catch up to you later.
Thank goodness they made it through the night. So I guess he slept slept there he, on the couch. He better have. <laughs> in the name of the Father. The rain been gone, baby. In the Holy Spirit, he <laughs> needed to sleep on the couch. <laughs> Last night, yep. we didn't do anything out of line. There's nothing to apologize about. Is there a commandment against eating ziti? <laughs> I love some baked ziti. It's okay, take a shower, get dressed. I would have done it myself last night, but some she, people came along. She's straight up friend zone. But anyway, it's, it's a great town car. Good car. New model. An hour out of town, you pull up alongside, boom, 12 gauge. He's serious, too. No, no, no. fuck that. I want the cops to find out who burnt down the historical house. Fuck you! Huh? See, you a rat. You a rat. You a rat. You, you, don't, you don't have respect among thieves, because they like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to get caught up over something that you didn't, that you didn't do. Yeah, He's it's dug again. He's scared. He's scared out of his wits. <gasps> is, is he at his place of work? He, he know where he was. Is he at his place of work, though? I, I hear footsteps. I hear I hear really big ones. Okay, <laughs> that ain't no dang puppy. <laughs> that's not no cat. That's not a little cat walking out. No. Come on, come on. Oh, is that Ducky's footsteps? Yeah. <laughs> I hear the dog walking by the door. Play too much. It's almost starting to feel like a horror movie for a second. I know. I know. Is Michael Myers gonna jump out somewhere? Hey. Oh <laughs> no, that that's, that's Jason Voorhees. I'm getting a Jason Voorhees vibe. Oh. Oh. Oh, he doing it. Good morning, rat. You took an oath and you broke it. I could have killed you last night outside the motel. I was there in the parking lot. I had a gun, but I didn't do it. Taking this little girl college. You know, one thing about us wise guys, the hustle never ends. Your life would have been flushed on a piece of dude. Please, honey, I'm begging. Jimmy says hello from hell, you fuck. Oh, I'm not gonna get not, I'm not gonna get you. Oh, I'm squeezing the life out of him. He's doing it quietly too. Why his why his daughter is visiting college? Wow, caught another body. I hope you don't. I hope you don't just jump back up. He heard his hand. Look. No, the ducks. Right on call. What what is this a symbol of? Maybe that's a symbol of, of his soul leaving his body. I don't know. <laughs> you know how he feel about the ducks, That's, though. I know. That probably just made him sad all over again. That probably was a sign. Yeah. He might need to bring that up in his, in his, uh, his therapy session. Where have you been? Well, I went back to the motel. They didn't have the watch, so I went over to the restaurant, and I had to wait for them to open. Man, he's a smooth operator. I got to give it to him. Hey, he did that for Dad, what's up with that? Oh, uh, I tried the back door. To, there were puddles. <laughs> it was dumb, I know. She is not stupid. Right? She pay attention to everything. Right? Your hands is bleeding. Dad, where did you go? You saw that man, didn't you? I cut it on the screen door. She's gonna sound like an I'm an opera. What do you think happened? I don't know. You got in a fight? You were on the payphone again last night at 1 o'clock in the morning. Excuse me, Miss Cuervo and a -ho. You can't be trusted to remember what happened last night because you were seeing pink elephants. <laughs> you're being honest with me, right? Pretty soon here, you're going to start hurting my feelings. Dad. What? Nothing. She, if she's going to college, she needs to study uh, criminal you. justice. I love you, too. I think she should. I think she should uh, apply for the NYPD. She had like investigators. Mr. Soprano, come on in. No, oh, here they are, the two Ivy Leaguers. Mm -hmm. I'm beat. What? New England? It's so gorgeous. Any cold past? There was some ziti, but it all got eaten. One senior jughead was here. If you are referring to Father in Tintola, yes, he was. 
He spent the night here. Yeah, right. Okay. The priest spent the night here. What happened? Nothing. The priest spent the night here. Nothing happened. You know what? This is too fucked up for me even to think about. What'd you guys do for 12 hours? Play, uh, name that pope? He gave me communion. Oh, I'll bet he gave you communion. Excuse me? Well, Carmela, the guy spends the night here with you, and all he does is slip you a wafer? That's verging on sacrilege. Oh, I didn't mean to verge. Now you're looking at her like... Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, Come on by now. the way, your therapist called. Huh? Jennifer? Uh, okay. Tom. I knew she was going to throw that little nugget in there. Tom, oh, come on! It's just therapy, that's all. We just talk. Look, you got to clean that up. Oh, man. Nah, don't be trying to... <laughs> that was a good episode. Oh, come on. Trying to get out of it now. No. He got to clean it up. Mm, Mr. Clean. Okay. What He's into waste management. He's into janitorial services. He got he to clean that up, too. Yeah, he just had a, a waste management duty. <laughs> Take care of a second ago, too. He took care of that part. <laughs> now, now he got some other janitorial duties. Have to Your Dr. Melfi has excellent taste. She only shops at the fancy spancy deli. I ought to knock the shit out of you for what you did to a date last month. What? Figure this goes some Gomari or so I uh, scare him a little. What's the big deal? All right, anything else? I don't want to be here all day. Yesterday she got off at 9 and she went to bed early. Buy yourself an iron. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. At least, at least give him some, uh, some dry cleaning phone. Ready? So, how was your college trip with your daughter? I tell you, my life, it's like a episode of provolone something. My wife, all we do is fight. And you believe it? She's jealous of you. She didn't know you were a girl. A woman. You know, a woman. <laughs> Excuse me. A doctor. Woman doctor. What's the one thing every woman, your mother, your wife, your daughter, have in common? They all break my balls. <laughs> They're crazy. Here. No, I know what you mean. They're all Italian. So what? Maybe by coming clean with me, you're dialoguing with them. Let me ask you a question. Why do you have me as a patient? Most legit people I know, they'd go 100 miles out of their way not to make eye contact with me. Mm. You didn't flinch. <laughs> How's Junior? Oh. Get the fuck out! Oh, he got the bat. Oh, that's how Junior is. I'm with little Jimmy Altieri. Yeah? Junior Soprano is the new boss, and he ain't respecting all the arrangements. I wonder why they did that. I went to something special. The boys are having a little time for me. I guess so. You wearing a suit to the dinner, eh? So how's your, uh, what's your, what's your oldest boy's name? Raphael, uh, Ralphie. Yeah. He lost his son, you know. What do you mean, lost? Dead. Drug dealers. I read the paper every day about these poor pricks overdosing. He didn't overdose, he killed himself, 14 years old. Oh. Jesus. What's this motherless fuck's name? Morning, Olivia. Oh, morning. New arrival? Go ahead, keep moving, fella. Don't go here. Keep pushing. Just don't let certain people take advantage of your good nature. What certain people? Nobody got over on Johnny. Yeah, because that's Tony's uncle. How's your Jewish friend? Hesh? What about him? Hey, he's Tony's friend, not mine. Are you telling me that since I'm the new boss, I should tax Hesh? Boy, Anthony must have really gotten under your collar. I don't know what you're talking about. What is the matter? Tony Scanola doesn't want to stand up. Tony's always tired. So how's your job? What? Since when do you care about my job? Can I be nice? All right. Okay, you don't want to talk about your job? Fine. I don't know what's wrong with you, but don't take it out hey, on me. There's nothing me. wrong with me. Just wanted to talk, that's all. Found a point. Ash is outside. He says he needs a word with you. What's up? Let's walk. You, um, spoke to your uncle lately? 
He's texting me, Tony. When did this happen? Today. My uncle said boss of the family, 10 fucking minutes already, I got Ajita. Oh, he texted him because it's What'd you tell him? Tell him the truth. It's, it's a reasonable right. request, but an unreasonable figure. How much does he want? 500 large, plus two points monthly on my shot. Do me a favor, sit tight for now. Let me think about it for a while. He really trying to bust his, you know what? Yeah. Two points, 500 large. You know who that is? You are the best. No. It came. Tony, I love you, Canole. You okay? Go back to sleep. Was that her? That was her the voice. Are you all right? That was the doctor? Yes. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, look at her face. I'm like, is that doctor so, Mel Oh, man. What do you want New York to do? First of all, Junior can't know how we talked. You are still running things. The arrangement, whatever it is, can't be insulting to my uncle. Hesh has got to pay something. We'll talk later. It's always business to handle. Yeah, really. How's the veal? It's like rubber. Buon anniversario, Tony e Carmela. Don't look at me. The compliments of Johnny Sack. Maybe you'd like to spend the rest of our anniversary with him. I was over there for 10 friggin' minutes, Carmilla. At least I know where I stand. Her nails are cute. Why are you always gonna be so dramatic, huh? I heard, I heard well, here we everything. go. Just can't be crying on anniversary. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Back to the break and check, okay? Not tonight. <laughs> no, not tonight. Hey, come here. Come on, what do you want me to say? I'm lost at sea here. You've changed, Tony, and I resent it. It's destroying what little self-esteem I have left. I swear sometimes I think you skeeve me. I skeeve you? You're the mother of my children. How the fuck can I skeeve you? You see, I feel like I'm just someone you've chosen to procreate with. Oh, wow. You knew this might happen with the Prozac. Dr. Yeah. Melfi told me it affects different people different ways. Oh. No. She told you that? That's the therapist. <laughs> in the couch tonight. Oh, man. That was the wrong thing. Very wrong I think before thing. we start, we need to address the coffee situation. It's not appropriate of me to take gifts. It's a cup of coffee. Let's just make a rule, okay? No gifts. This mean I can't drink mine? No. <laughs> oh, I have a car emergency. Yes? What does that mean, diagnostic? I just want to know what's wrong with my car. No, don't do anything. No, I, I want to get a second opinion. I'm sure Tony knows a few mechanics. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I need a waste man. All right. <laughs> How's it going? Good. As a matter of fact, I think I, I may flush the medication, you know? Why would you do that? The Prozac seems to be working. Might be working a little overtime. What do you mean? Um, I'm having a... Uh, Reaction? You know, mm. a side effect mm. from the stuff. Heart we eye. talked about that when you started. <laughs> Some people, they have a hard time getting or maintaining. Bingo. Not all impotence is a result of the medication. When's the last time you had a prostate exam? Hey, I don't even let anybody wag their finger in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> don't apologize. You got a nice laugh. All right, let's be serious. Hey, I'm serious. I cannot with Tony, man. Right. Let's put that in after the credenza. Rocher. You want to tell me wow. what's going on? Yeah, I bought some furniture. Why don't we just move it to Roche Beauvoir? Save the delivery charge. Fine, I'll send it back. Mother of Christ, Carmela, I didn't say that, did I? Jesus. All due respect to New York, I don't think you should be telling my uncle how to run things. You think I got the balls to drive in from New York and tell your uncle how we should run this family? <laughs> Tony, Cash isn't only a friend of you guys. He's a friend of ours. Frankly, I'm a little hurt. You should have come to me first. How would it look if I went to you after I spoke to him? 
Now, he's got a point. Bottom line is, 500 is a little steep for back taxes, no? I'm not out to hurt anyone. 300 on a back tax. 250. What I tell you, hold on to your cock when you negotiate with these desert people. <laughs> Shoot, they got it done. You only got to do half. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's in the shower? <laughs> Whose silhouette is that? No, man. <laughs> Prozac don't do that. <laughs> it might. Mr. Soprano. <laughs> you want sex? <laughs> no. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Yeah, no, go back to sleep. Maybe he was hoping that's who, who, who he was saying. <laughs> look, look at his eyes like. Why do I keep seeing her? Maybe you could wear a nice business-like outfit. You want me to dress like a man? No. No, you fucking wackadoo. I don't want you to dress like a man. I'm just saying maybe wear something a little more professional. You know, like you're in business. Oh, well, fuck you, Tony. I'm no whore. That's not what I mean. Not like you're in the whore business. <laughs> oh, forget it. You want her to dress like uh, Dr. Melfi? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Go to the cough. Yeah. She burned me. That's not good. Carmella can be pretty violent sometimes. So I suggest to her that maybe she dress a little different. Something titillating. But Carmella can be very sensitive. Well, maybe she felt it degraded her. Well, I'm not talking about dressing like that. Some women are sexier when they dress simple, you know, understated. I like you. Fuck it, I don't know what I mean. She'll never be able to help him if he's never honest. Like you. Look, he's an idiot. I like you. <laughs> you play it down. It's obvious you gotta kill a body under there. And don't get me wrong, not only do you play it down, but you're gentle, not loud, sweet sounding, like a mandolin. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Anthony. Oh. oh. He wanted that. It's unfortunate that we have to stop now because I think it's really important we talk about this till Tuesday. Okay? Dang, Tony just yeah, got right. to what he wants. He said he See you Tuesday. Whatever he wants, he, he gonna get it. I That's know, but I, I didn't think he's that bold. Dang. He just, well, he just he, put it on. He laid it on her thick. Here's Tony Soprano. Oh, look how she looking. Whew. Oh, my. Oh, my. Damn. This, that, that's not good, though. I don't know. No. Tony, no. She probably thinking about him, too. Well, you couldn't be any louder. It's the oddest thing. I've had this problem for weeks. But this morning, I get in and it starts right up. Uh, looks fine. I was told I need a new starter. <laughs> Lady, as much as I might wish to rob you, even I wouldn't try to replace a new starter with another. What do you mean, new? New. Come on, Mikey, I didn't do nothing! Yeah, poor Keith committed suicide up here because of you. Listen to me, boy. Listen to me, I'm gonna give you a break. When I go on show, if you could fly, I will shoot you down, deal? Bitch. Oh, oh my god! Oh, they did it! Oh! Oh, wow. Hey. They saw that. They saw the whole thing. My goodness. Thing. What happened here? Some sad shit. The motherfucker said he won't live no more. Jump. <laughs> Yeah, he said he didn't want to live no more. And next thing you know, you he just jumped off by himself. Nobody else was here. Sure, said the same thing. <laughs> I just saw somebody do that. Yeah, yeah no, he didn't. Uh-uh, uh-uh. What's the Irish? He took a header off the faults. That's the closest that junkie fuck ever got to a bath. That junkie fuck was my biggest earner. A certain friend of ours should have checked with me before he did a favor for the old man Capri. Mm. I think you created a fucking Frankenstein in Junior. I created 
We all agreed to let Junior have his day. That Sammy Grigio card game. That fucking Mikey smacked him around. That ain't right. That game wasn't paying anybody. The minute Sammy Grigio used Jimmy's name, it should have been end of story. What do you want me to do? Hey, we made our bed, we sleep in it. But how long are we going to continue to kick upstairs without it hurting? All we want you to do is talk to him. After all, he's your uncle. Uncle June been by? Once in a while. He's got a lot in his mind. I'd say to see him mess this up. He's been waiting a long time for the big chair. What do you mean? It's not a business that forgives bad decisions. What are you telling me? Tell him. No, you got his ear. He listens to you. I don't know that world. Of course not. Yes, you do. Oh, I wish the Lord would take me. <laughs> Come on, ma. The Lord would take me. Before we run out of time, I'd like to discuss what happened when we were here last week. Yeah, let's discuss that. Yeah, I, I need to know. The elephant in the room. How's your car? Did you steal my car and have it fixed? I didn't want to see you get robbed. It was you. You had no right to steal my car. I've been scared to death. It's a violation of my privacy. What else have you done? <laughs> I've been scared to death. Answer me. Now. Oh, she owns it, him. I love you. Anthony. I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. No. I dream about you. I think about you all the time. I can't get excited about any other women. There's nothing else to say. Look at her face. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Let me start here. You're only feeling this way because we've made such progress. I've been a broad, generic, sympathetic woman to you because that's what this work calls for. You've made me all of the things you feel are missing in your wife hmm. and in your mother. <laughs> he said, I love you. I want to make sure we understand each other. Yeah, we understand each other. You don't love me. You don't want me to come back anymore? Fine. It's quite the opposite. This is all a byproduct of progress. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd see it. I want to hear him. So what is it you wanted to talk about? Octavian. You know, Augustus. Augustus was a Caesar, and everybody loved him, right? Everybody loved him because he never ate alone. Gavish, he was a fair leader. Just the one that uh, they stabbed in the back? That was Julius. Talking about Augustus. What's your fucking point? Uh, you remember the story you told me about the father bull talking to the son? They're up on this hill. They're looking down at a bunch of cows. And the son goes to the father. Why don't we run down there and fuck one of these cows? The father says, son, why don't we walk down there and fuck them all? <laughs> I told you that. Yeah. Okay, I get your point. Hey, why don't you just come out with it? Junior took the 250 you gave him and whacked it up amongst the top five guys. You know, so it doesn't look greedy. Smart move. Yeah. Your uncle may turn out to be the right man for the job. I fucking hope so. Because I tell you right now, I don't want the fucking job. Let Junior die from the stress. So it gave Jackie the cancer, God rest his soul. Boss, fuck it, who Jackie. needs it? So Junior whacked up my money and kind of spread it around, huh? Yeah. Not a bad day's pay. Still, I wish it wasn't your money. Makes me feel terrible. You old fucking Jew. Here's my share. You think I'm gonna profit off of your tax? Yeah, the back to him. Never entered my mind. See, that, that's what that was, that's what makes Tony Stolly. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Dr. Melfi, there's nothing there, you know. It's psychiatry shit. Apparently what you're feeling is not what you're feeling. And what you're not feeling is your real agenda. You're gonna stick with it, right? I don't know. I think you should. You do? Mm-hmm. Come, you're not just in my life. You are my life. Okay, I'm no good at speeches. Yeah, you all will fucking dime. You'll hear some great speeches. All right, I'd like everybody to raise their glasses. Okay. <clears throat> to our new boss. Salute. To Junior. Oh, yeah. Junior.
music at the right time you're trying to ask what, what, what they were doing right there yeah the reason why you were hearing the, the the snapping and the flashing is because whoever john was he's an undercover like in form he's like an undercover and he was wearing a camera right here below the name tag oh i didn't see that i would kept looking at john i'm like what what do you see so so he so he's there at this really like oh private event wow. for all the all the bosses or, or you know the capos and the bosses of the family. Now you want me? I, I need. Babe, you want to go back? Go just, back. Let me just look real quick. Go back. You got to go a little further ahead. Wait a minute. I gotta see. I right gotta there. See. Right there. Where you see that name tag? Okay. You see the name tag. Go. Did I go back far enough? Go back. You got. Yeah. One more time. There you go. Right there. And just watch. See that? Oh, see that too. <laughs> See? Yeah, I do see it. I you see? see it. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't see that the first time. Bro. I didn't either, but I had, I had Dang, to. Dang, how did you catch that? I had, to, I had to keep hearing that flash. It was the reason why they were showing that name tag. He he he's an undercover. Oh. So he's taking pictures of all. So so basically, so all the so the police, he's letting them know so he, so they know who all the capos are, and that now that Junior. Has the been boss. now moved up to boss. Oh, so they just so they keeping real tight tabs on them. Man, I hope they stay tight lipped about what they have done. Okay, like <laughs> that right. part. Well, yeah, I, I mean, at, at something like that, they're not gonna talk about business like that at something like that at a meeting like that. The only time they're gonna talk about that is when you see them in front of like the storefront, sitting outside, yeah, sipping on their tea early in the morning. That's where they talk business. Taking a walk. Yeah, talking a walk, getting on the payphone. Other than that, you don't say nothing. You don't say nothing. Not a. Not a thing. No. Not a dang thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but for the but, but for this epi but for the, for episode six to end like that, that leaves you like on pins and needles because that's letting you know right now. Like, I mean, obviously the police, whether it's like on a state level or federal level, they already know the mob, the Italian mob to a degree, but yeah. knowing that they like that close to them like that, where they just literally just keeping tabs and just sitting back watching, gathering information. Dang. So what now? Like now that you, I don't know. Like now that they like on to them like that, like what is it that they, I mean, obviously well, the they're thing, waiting on somebody to incriminate themselves and for mm -hmm. some stuff to actually happen. To keep for building them. a case. Yeah. But dang, like, because you know the only way that they can really build a case and only thing that, that that they can really hit them with is for like organized crime, which is like the RICO Act. Yeah, at, that's like, what that's what they can use to take them down. So they need actual evidence then ultimately to do anything like they, to, to start making moves on stuff. Yeah, they can't just go off assumption. Like they got to get they got to have all their ducks in a row to hit them with like a RICO thing. Dang. You know what I mean? Okay. But they but 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 like like they said they've been knowing about them for years. Like even John, even Tony, and even. Carmela has talked about right. well. Well, Metal talked about throughout just throughout growing up, where people would come to the house in warrants and searching the house, so right. they know of like him. there's something going on anyway. It's just they about just... keeping your hands clean, right? You know. Okay, okay. Well, he has a legitimate business, but wait a minute. Like, let's talk about this come whole thing with with <laughs> Doctor Doctor Melfi okay. and, and, okay. and, and and Anthony. Okay, what what is this about? Antonio. Okay, <laughs> and now like. So now it looks like they back on good terms, like him and him and uh, Carmelo. They they're back in, on good terms, and maybe everything will be better for him. Like now, but she explained like why it kind of was like the way it was with him. And at first, she was kind of just letting him do it because you know she couldn't really keep up with him. You know, in terms like she was so busy and running behind the kids and doing <clears throat> mommy stuff right. basically. So she kind of just like. Let him is really kind of in a sense what she said. She kind of enabled him to, yeah, to do to, that. Yeah. yeah, but now she knows that he's cheating. Like now she like shoot, I'm here. Like kids big now. I can, I can get with you type thing. And now she's hurt by it. Like, uh, I think <laughs> but so. that's she I is. feel like that's 
what that is. Like, I feel like that's why he does it. But I don't know. I, I mean, obviously, he chooses to do it. Because mm-hmm. he's still doing it. Yeah, because he's still doing it. With the young girl. And the young girl, the you know, the, the foreigner, she's probably like three or four years older than... His daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's very young. Mm-hmm. And then he tells Dr. Melfi that he loves her, too. Like, y'all, I can't. I, can't I wasn't feeling me. that part with Tony. I was like, Tony, don't just jump out the window just but, yet. Oh, no, babe. I'm just a little bitty spinch in me is just like Dr. Melfi is just going to give in to him. Because Tony is a smooth talker. Okay? The way he, he look at you, the, the way he talk to you, the way he just... Bring your coffee and Dr. stuff. Dr. Melfi, don't do it. Yeah, y'all. I feel like he gonna take her over. He been dreaming about her, y'all. He, just, he has. He, he has. Just, he, he can't stop. He can't get her out of, his, out of his head. Obviously, because he got somebody watching her, following her. Yeah. Coming back, dropping the tabs as far as mm-hmm. what she got going on. Mm-hmm. Who she talking to. Oh, who she, she went knows. on a date with. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Outside, <laughs> outside, outside of that, uh, you know... Uh, Tony does what Tony does. It's like he's he's down with the waste management, and and I, I still feel like he, he, you know, he's still proving himself as is that guy because he took it in his own hands uh, to 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 wipe out a known snitch. You yeah, know, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. And he almost got killed doing it. I, I couldn't believe how close he got got to getting to being killed. Yeah, he did yeah. almost. It's close, okay? But shoot, he, he, got, he got up. him, but he got him, okay? Just saying, but... Exactly. Okay, y'all, it's getting juicy. It's heating uh, up, okay, y'all? <laughs> I, I just hope everything just stays on the straight and narrow with Carmella. Please. Yeah, hopefully. Please. Antonio, come yeah. on, and Antonio. She already started confessing to the priest now. <laughs> she done already started telling him some stuff. Yeah. And, and that happened, too, okay? We forgot. Don't... Let's not forget about that, either, okay? The communion? The whole... Yeah, the communion, babe. Oh, and then when they and then when they and then when they showed him putting a put right, putting a, like, put, putting a cracker like in her mouth I'm, doing communion, and she took her tongue out and they put it on her. I'm just like, why they got to get that? Angle, that was a man? little that was a little too sensual. No, cause see that right there told you what she what okay what how this was about to go. Okay? That was the vibe, though. but it didn't happen though. I'm okay. I'm, I, I mean, I she mean, she knew what was up if she ran upstairs to go change her, uh, get her hair together, put her, you know what I'm saying? She left yeah. him standing there for a whole like minute and a half so she could do, do, spray yeah. herself and everything. Yeah, but Carmella, I mean, Carmella, no. Carmella, she's, I mean, I mean, she, she, she held it firm. Okay. She held serve. If you yeah. know anything about tennis, she, she held serve on babe, that. Babe, if he, if he would have tried it, she, she, I don't know, babe. <laughs> She, she held oh, serve. No. She held serve, and now she's going for forty loves. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> all of that, y'all. Okay, y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down below. And if y'all enjoyed it, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. Absolutely. And if they nobody else told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. We'll see y'all sooner than later. Yeah.